Good morning, S2. Having now watched the video on orthographic projection, we're going to have a look at trying to do a homework exercise to try and see what you've learned from that watching that video. The worksheet that I've got in front of me here has got six shaped blocks on it, and each of the blocks has got a series of letters on each of the surfaces. There are three orthographic views which relate to those blocks. So there's a plan view, an elevation, and an end elevation for each of the blocks in this case. On the orthographic views, all of the surfaces have got numbers attached. And what we're going to look at trying to do as a homework exercise is trying to match which letter on this block matches which number on which view. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do task one for you, which is table one, this one here. I've got it on a bigger sheet so you can see it a bit clearer. And then you're going to have a go at doing from two through to six as part of your homework exercise, which I'll have attached as a PDF file. You can either um, print off if you've got a copy of the, if you've got a printer at home, you can either print off this page and actually write your, your answers into here, or even easier, just on a blank piece of paper, draw tables two, three, four, five, and six, write your answers in that, and you can photograph it and send it back to me. So, if I go to the first worksheet, which is this one here, so I've done it a little bit bigger so you can see it. So the method for looking at this is saying, surface A, where would you have to be standing to be able to see surface A? So if you think about it, surface A is on the top, so to be able to see that, you must be standing from above it. So what view is from above? It's the plan view. So straight away, we can figure out that A is either one, two, or three. So then the other way to look at this is you say, on the top surfaces, we've got A, we've got C, and we've got E. So A is the leftmost, E is the rightmost. So when we look at our plan view, we can say that A matches up to number one. So similarly, if we go for number five, sorry, if we go for number, uh, letter B, letter B is here, which is where I'd be able to see it looking from here, from the end elevation. So looking on the end elevation, I would see F, I would see D, and I would see B. So which step is, is B? It's the top step, so looking on the end elevation, I know that it is number five. So they two were already done for you. So let's look at trying to do C now. So C again is one of these surfaces which is facing upwards, so to see it you'd have to be looking down on top of it. So to be able to see that one, you have to be looking from above, which is a plan view. C is the middle step, so it must be number 2. Then we go the same for D. So D again, like B, looking from the end elevation, so we're looking at, it's not the bottom step, it's the middle step, so we can know that on the end elevation, D must be number six. If we look at E, again, looking down on top of it, it is the rightmost of the surfaces, so looking down on top of it, we know that's the plan view, so we look at E being number three. F, again, looking on the end, so the end elevation, it's the bottom step, so it is going to be number seven. And then lastly, G, looking from here this time, so totally different, you can almost tell by the shape of this one which number it's going to be. So looking on here, which is the front elevation, which is this view here, there only is one surface, so it is number four. And that is basically the principles that you're going to follow for each of these shapes on this sheet. So for each one, they get progressively harder. Okay, so for number two, again, thinking about where you'd have to be to be able to see surface A. Are you above it? Are you in the end elevation of it? Or are you coming from the elevation side of it? Once you've figured out which view you've got to look at, then you try and figure out the number. Okay? Good luck and enjoy.